So this is where the back, um, the back wheel hooks. So this part pulls out and the back wheel is suspended from here. Um, the tire rests on this platform. I have this here. I need to figure out a better longer term solution, but right now this was too narrow for the plastic that I used for the walls. So it was indenting on the plastic. So I put this little piece of wood just so that it would disperse where the weight and the pressure was. Um, and it works, but I just want to find something a little bit uh, more aesthetically pleasing than that up but. here. This board is actually mounted directly to the frame of the van. So this board is super stable. So I have four screws that I drilled through this mount into that board, which is then attached to the frame. Seems to be really sturdy. There's no movement in it. So go ahead and show you. Um, I measured just barely enough clearance to be able to hook it on there and not and clear the roof when I hook it over. And then once the wheel, the back wheel is suspended from there, you'll see that the bike hangs down and that I take off the front wheel and the front handlebars are vertical then and store down here. I use that pink tie down to tie around the handlebars. I have another one that comes from the other side that ties around the front um, through axle. And then um, that is a velcro strap that I use to keep the handlebars so that they are vertical instead of being out from the bike. So I'll show you what I mean. This other strap is not related to the bicycle. It's actually for my weed sprayer shower jug, how I secure that in that corner. That's just my table. So that gets stored in the corner and I'm able to pull it in and out. And that's it. Okay, so for my bike behind me, I just have to take off the front wheel to make this rack work. I put the axle back through because that helps me secure it in the van. And that's that. So additionally, um, to, be, to make sure that it stays vertical and doesn't want to slip, I go ahead and I turn the handlebar sideways. So this is how they'd normally be. And I pull it this way. And I'm gonna use a Velcro strap to strap the handlebar to the frame so that they stay in this position on this plane. So this is my strap. After I do this, the bicycle does not want to stand up since the forks are in plane with the rest of the bike, but it's no problem because from here I just go straight to the rack. There, that's it. So then these stay in that direction and I don't have to manage them myself. Less parts move when I'm trying to put it up on the rack. Okay, so then the last thing that I do with the bicycle is I have just like a little strip of fabric like material that I wrap around a section of the back tire and the reason I do that is that the clearance from um, where the hook is to hang the back wheel and the ceiling the clearance is very small I made a very very tight clearance so as a result um, if I don't do it just right I tend to smudge the back tire on the ceiling and it'll leave a mark um, which isn't a huge deal but uh, it's just good to wrap it and then I don't have to worry about smudging the ceiling. So this is the thing that I have. It's just a strip of fabric. I just, um, it's actually an anti-slip thing from a toolbox I had, but, um, I just poked a hole in it and so I'm able to slip this hole right over the Presta stem on the bicycle tire to hold it in place and then I wrap it around the outside of the wheel. So there's the stem. And I'm able to slip this, that hole right through there. And then I just wrap this around as just a buffer. I'm sure there's a better solution, but this seems to work for me. And I just tuck it in. So let's go ahead and put this turkey up there. All right. 
so I just have my steps here. I just step up and hook that back wheel over that. And that's it. It's super simple. The bicycle hangs here um, and then I'm going to use a couple extra straps down at the bottom to make sure that if I go down like fire roads or whatever and there's a lot of bounce in the van then at least I'm less likely to have the bicycle want to bounce away from the wall or move at all. So I have these two tie downs or actually tie downs I used to use for motorcycles so I already had them. So this one um, I just go ahead and and Put that around the axle so there it is wrapped around the front axle um, and then I tighten it I don't make it super tight it really doesn't have to be that tight just tight enough so that there's not a ton of wobble what's basically gonna happen is this one is pulling to the corner tie down in the van over there and then this pink one is gonna pull to the corner tie down in the van over there so since they're pulling across it really doesn't have to be that tight it's just stabilizing it side to side so it doesn't bounce away from the wall. All right, so then this one, all I do is I just hook it on the handlebar. And then I just ratchet, which I probably can't do one handed very well. Um, and that's usually sufficient to just keep it so that it's not gonna it's not it can't really bounce either direction and that's it and so then this bicycle handlebars are vertical and it just slots right in and it takes up I think the least amount of space that I could have it take up without having it um under like a bed platform my tires here so I just go ahead and put the tire right inside there and that's it there you have it and here it is with the door shut so it takes up pretty much just the width of the pedals from the outside of the one pedal to the outside of the other is about the width it takes up in the back.